Good morning guys, happy Monday. You know you have reached a new level of quarantine status when the highlight of your week is that Monday morning they delivered. Let me show you. We had a delivery of a pile of dirt. And we're pretty excited about it because it's going to the backyard. And so a dump truck just dumped that. And guys, yesterday, let me show you. Okay, we were on a walk on Saturday. We're walking by this house and there was a neighbor. It was a little further away from where we normally walk and this guy so we never met this guy and he was out in his yard and we said what is that beautiful bush in your front yard and he said that's an azalea do you want it and mary goes yes and he's like i'm serious we were getting ready to rip it out because we don't really like the color with our house and uh so we said we'll dig it up for you and take it off your hands and so yesterday mary and i took our wheelbarrow and went down the street and dug up this bush. Wait till you see this. Look at this azalea bush. It is covered with all these uh, buds getting ready to bloom. And it's probably, I'm guessing about five feet tall. And um, it's beautiful. And so is that pile of dirt. Okay, let's see what happened. Ooh, ooh, oh, interesting. I did it a little bit different this time. Let's see how it turned out. Just wash my hands. Let's chop it up. Not my hand. Let's chop the bread up. doughy but it looks much better oh yeah so I purposely folded some bubbles into it because I wanted it to be like airier it's still fairly dense the crust is a lot thinner which I'm actually okay with because sometimes it's so hard it like hurts your mouth when you bite it. So let's make Peter some lunch. Ready to see the bread? Yes. What's your hypothesis about it? I think it's gonna be good. Okay. Look at it. Here, what do you it. think? It's much lighter. Feel the I crust. Like the crust is like yeah, less. That's good. Break your gumsy. Yeah. I so think it looks good. Basically, what I did differently, I had the dough. I started it last night, and then. 
Mm. I let it rise for a couple of hours, and then I kneaded it a few times, let it rise again, kneaded it again, let it rise overnight, then I, then I just baked it. That's a good one. You like it? That's your best one yet. Really? Uh -huh. Okay, so maybe I should just follow my instincts more. Listen to the bread, see what it wants. Does mm. it want to be kneaded? It's really good. Really? Mm -hmm. It's still doughy, which is weird, but maybe if I put more flour in it. I don't know. I don't know. It's good. Yay. Mmm, look at this. I'm gonna put this on. Do it. Okay, I'll go get you more bread. Okay. For an early lunch slash, I needed to take my trichafta, so I needed to eat something slash drink some milk, you know, like get some calories and fat in me before I could take that pill. I ate leftover what I made yesterday, which was corn tortillas with sauteed pepper and onion, with frozen like pulled pork that Peter made, with black beans and corn sauteed, put it all in a corn tortilla, rolled it up, put it in a pan, mixed half and half with salsa, poured that on top, put cheese on top, hit myself in the face, baked it, so kind of like fajita enchilada type of situation. I finished the leftovers today, so I'm not hungry right now. That's why I'm just making it for him. I'm gonna slice another bit of bread for him. I just came in from a little outside time. I'm looking in the backyard and Peter's starting, started a couple days ago to kind of dig up the backyard and like loosen it up because we're gonna be grading it, like flattening it out of it. And there's a robin poking around in the kind of turned up dirt and that's really fun, of course, because I love birds. So now I have a bit of bread from the last loaf that I need to do something with because it is finished. It's like pretty dried out and stale. So also because I have my brand new loaf, I need to put that in that bag. So I'm going to take the stale bread. I'm gonna take my cheese grater and I'm gonna make some bread crumbs. Cause I don't have any like dried bread crumbs, you know? So I thought that's what I'll use this dried out bread for. Dried out and done. But look, you can kind of see the difference between the last loaf and this loaf. Wow. Well, this is the end. I was gonna say the size is so different, but um, I think it's just that this was the end, so that's why it's shorter. So yeah, not a huge difference, but it's fun to see the bread change as I'm trying new things and learning new things. Totally random. I just remembered, I forgot to update you after our walk the other day when I was testing my oxygen, everything's good. All right, folks. Oh wait, I'll leave the gates open. Hold on, baby. Stay in here for a minute. All behind those is just terrible. Is it just terrible? The gate's open. He's at it, he's doing it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's see, where did he put it? Oh, back there in the back corner. We are abnormally excited about this dirt, everybody. Just saying. Hi! I didn't know where you were. Wow, you're working hard. Thanks for doing that. We've got 12 wheelbarrow loads. Amazing. How many more do you think there are? Uh, maybe... 200? <laughs> What's that white thing? Oh, your earbud. You're really cute. Thanks. Harry loves it when I open these windows. He comes running and jumps up in the windowsill. There's a screen here, so he's safe inside but he likes sunshine and he likes his igloo. This is his bed that we call his igloo. So the other day I pulled the chair up so it was like a little bit of sun coming in and I think he approves. <laughs> and then it started pouring. Oh my goodness. I just pulled in. His computer was still out with the umbrella though. Pulled that in. 
we I started to help put the cover on the pile of dirt out front and he finished it I guess the hammock's gonna get washed whoops <laughs> it's so beautiful though because it's warm and the rain is coming down <laughs> your computer was still out oh. But it wasn't wet because the umbrella. Oh, thank you. That was crazy. Wow, that came upon us. It came upon us. <laughs> and then it started coming down a little bit harder, but apparently Peter is just really committed. I am thankful for his commitment. <laughs> there he goes. Let's see if we can catch him out the back door or the back window. There he goes! Yay! Go Peter, go! Well, this is where we're at in life. I took a bag of frozen mix mixed vegetables and separated them because I wanted them separate because I figured that would be helpful. But just for the record, it's not really worth it to spend all the time and separate them. But since I did it, it's done. Okay, Peter just came in from working outside. I've been doing the dishes. I started on dinner. I started the rice maker and I'm exhausted and I'm not in the mood for talking or anything. So he's like, I'm gonna go take a shower now. I'm gonna sit down and rest. Ooh. I just came in from lots of muddy work. I was covered in mud and went and took a shower. <laughs> and now Mary's feeling pretty worn out. Uh, I announced that there's no way I'm gonna be able to make dinner. Yeah, so I'm gonna make some dinner and Oh, I asked uh, yeah. him. I was like, why did you decide to keep going in the rain? Well, it was, it started raining, and with the rain came just this cool... Cool breeze, uh, cool breeze. Cool breeze, like it probably dropped the temperature. I'm guessing like 10 degrees, I don't know. Maybe 5. But it made me realize in that moment, it like gave me this boost of energy, and it was the sun, like it wasn't the wheelbarrowing, the dirt that was exhausting me, it was the heat. And so when... It got cooler, I realized, man, that gave me just like a burst of energy. So I might as well keep going in the rain since it doesn't exhaust me as much. So that was lesson learned. Uh, maybe I do it later in the day tomorrow. Uh, but uh, I was able to get a good bit of that pile. I mean, there's a lot of the pile still left, but I was able to get a good bit of dirt. Uh, laid out it in the backyard so and it does it. did you show them no. um let me give you a little uh sneak peek of what what we're doing so basically we're leveling out the yard there's a lot of like up and down and whatever and so this is where i'm starting back here in the corner and just kind of leveling out uh the dips the valleys and the peaks and it's just, it's so exciting to see that fresh slate, and we're going to plant grass on it, and it's exciting. So, that looks like a little corner of our yard, and it is, but a little corner every day will make progress. Okay, we made some dinner, and Mary actually helped me, so there's that. And we're having, it's like a bag of, like, Asian sesame stir fry. Okay, it's chicken nuggets and vegetables with some sauce. <laughs> okay, yeah. And Mary made some of our favorite rice. I started the rice, like, an hour ago because it takes a while. But Perfect. Yes. Hey, guys. Ollie and I just got back from a walk, and Mary made banana muffins. So, thank you, Mary. And, Ollie, come get your dinner. We have, uh... This uh, dog bowl stand that we have both filled up with water because both the animals like to drink out of that one. And then Ollie eats his dinner out of this one. Do you want your dinner? I got your special dinner. We put it on the chair because otherwise Harry likes to find it. And guys, I got, Mary got me this um, light up like LED collar that he wears on our evening walks. Eat your dinner. And just when I came upstairs, Harry ran downstairs, but last night we were folding the towels from the dryer and Harry crawled in this bas laundry basket that I felt kind of sad to finish the job, so I left them in there so he could lay in the laundry basket. 
You tired, girl? And? As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Oh, you have your doggy there. You ready for bed with your doggy? You are so cute.